my name is Liz and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. Today I have a kind of small thrift haul from um, my favorite local thrift store. I try and go on Wednesdays, which is their sale day, um, or it's the day the sales all switch. So you get the best stuff at the lower price. Um, I haven't been there in a few weeks. So it was kind of cool to go back and see um, what I missed, but we will just jump right in. So this one is a Maeve by Anthropology shirt. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a bandana print, more of a blouse style. Um, it is a slightly older one, the tag's blocking it so you can't see, but it doesn't say Anthropology on the tag. But I mostly bought this one because uh, green was 75% off today. So it was originally $15. So I paid around four for this, which I was happy to pay for an anthro shirt. And then one of, I've been trying to go to the bins more, but one of the main reasons that I went to this store today is my husband needed some clothes. So we'll just go through these really quick. Um, some pants, great prices for these because he gets them dirty anyway. So why would I buy full price stuff? Pair of jeans and then a new golf polo. This one's really cool with the golf clubs on it. Um, I don't come across the kind of more fun printed ones too often. So that was fun to find. And then this is a shirt for me. It's just from Loft. Um, but I liked it, so grabbed that for myself. And then the rest of the clothes are things to sell. So I did find a couple Lily pieces today. If you watch my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of Lily Pulitzer. This one is a slightly older shift dress, um, but this lace style is still pretty popular. I'm going to say this is like 2017. Let's see. 2015 um but I think this is one that would still do well today I did leave behind a white label which this is pink and this is the older pink tag the more current one is more of like a hot pink and then they've actually just in the last couple months come out with a newer tag um but this one is slightly older I left behind a white label one today um, just mostly based on the price I would have picked it up if it was a good price but I think it was gonna be $15 and I left behind a pair of pants that were a great find but they had a big stain on them and it wasn't one I was sure I could get out so left those this was a very popular cut of dress when it came out this is an extra, extra small, which is the only thing that stinks, but this was a style that ran bigger, so I guess that helps a little. I paid 15 for this just because I knew that this was a fairly popular style. And then the last Lily dress was this one, and this is a Sophie dress, which is always kind of a very fitted material, and it has the three buttons on each side. I've sold a few Sophie dresses before and they always do pretty well. This one was a small and I paid $10 for that one. And then this was a pretty good jean find. These are Veronica Beard, which I have not come across in a while. I'm going to say these are probably a skinny, but I grabbed them anyway. Okay, no, they are the Carly Kick Flare High Rise. Um, so that's always nice when things say it in there, but I wouldn't say these are very kick flare, but whatever. Um, I was going to grab them no matter the style because I only paid $5 for those. And then I found this Madewell blazer, which was cool. It's definitely 100% linen in this gingham. Um, sadly, it is the end of August when I'm filming this so it's going to be slightly out of season soon but still a good find and I believe it was from 22 
yeah, spring 2022. So nice and current, which is always great. And just a good style. And that was only $7.50. Oh, another shirt for my husband that I forgot about. So I really did not buy very much clothes today, but that's okay. I don't need it. I really just went because we needed some stuff for ourselves. And this is a Hannah Anderson zero to three month bathing suit. It's like um like a full one piece, but it has the little shorts, which is really cute. For only two dollars, I was definitely grabbing that, even though it's kind of out of season. I did find a few random other things that we needed. Um, my husband is a teacher, so we needed some bulletin board stuff for school starting next week. So that's some construction paper, and then this is like self-laminating sheets, so was happy to find both of those. These were only $1.99, and I paid $1.50 for the construction paper. And then I bought a bunch of bags of kids' hangers, um, three of them, and they were all only a dollar each. And I grabbed these because I'm doing a kids consignment sale soon and you have to send everything on a hanger um, and like with your price tag on it. So it was a great deal to find all of these because if I had bought this many, I have some from past years, but I always end up needing more because um, the clothes that sell, they like you take the hanger home with you. So I only get back the hangers of the stuff that didn't sell. Um, so if I bought all of those at say Walmart or Target, it would have been a lot more. So that was an exciting find, even though it's kind of a boring find. Um, I did get two pairs of shoes today. So I grabbed these flip flops and these are Javianas. They are a Farm Rio and Javianas collab. So they were all printed and fun. These are an 1112, which is a good size too. Um, I only paid $2.50 for these and it looked like I could probably get in like the $25, $30 range for those. So I was happy with that. And then I got some Rothy's. I haven't found Rothy's in a really long time. Um, these are kind of a zebra print in gray with the point, which the point I think does a little better still um, if you've never found Rothy's. The tag is in here. There's a couple things to check to see if they seem to be authentic or not. Um, I vaguely know a few, um, like to make sure it says made in China because some of the fake ones don't say that and something else with the logo. Um, but these seem to check out and um, for $6, I was definitely grabbing them. They, I think are an eight and a half. I got a diff another pair of shoes, I forgot. Um, so these are the brand Simon Miller, which I haven't heard of, but they kind of looked fun. So I wanted to look them up and they said made in Portugal, which is usually a sign of decent leather. Um, I wasn't really finding this exact style in my super quick search, but um, Simon Miller sandals were going anywhere from like 40 to 100 so I will definitely do a little more research on these I paid $15 for them um, but they are my size if they really end up not being worth that much and they're really fun so I could just keep them this is a book I just got for a gift I love to find cool coffee table books at the thrift store um what I kind of often check because a lot of the time these paper parts are kind of messed up so as long as the cover underneath is kind of a cool cover I will usually grab it and just remove the dust cover before I gift it because then this looks pretty good so this is just going to a family member for their birthday and then I found another book which was a great find and I'm undecided if I'm gonna keep this or not um because it has good resale value but this is, um, it's inside like a cover, but this is um, Aceline, which if you ever look for books, this is like the most famous coffee table um, kind of book maker. So this one is a New York City one. It's really cool and thick. 
Um, they're like just pictures. Sometimes, like I have the Palm Beach one and that one has some information in it. Um, so I might keep this one. I don't know yet. I saw one listed on Poshmark for $250. There's no way it'll sell for that. But, um, I mean, if I could make $100 on a book, that would be crazy. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. I paid $8 for it. Um, and I originally saw, oh, Saks Fifth Avenue on a book. I wonder if it's Asseline before I even saw that. So, I was super excited to come across this today. But then, that wasn't even the most exciting part. Because when I walked up to the register, they keep some clothes behind the register and I saw this and everyone else is probably like wow that's a really weird men's blazer but this is a Lily Pulitzer men's jacket which they do not make this kind of stuff for men anymore so this is pretty old I'm not sure of the exact age but it's somewhere in the early 2000s I haven't looked the exact age yet, but I paid up for this. I paid $125 for this because I knew that it was good. And I quickly did a search at the register. One sold for $750 and then two other ones sold in the like $250 to $350 range. So... I'm going to list this high. There's no other ones in this print for sale. And it's a size 46, which I think is a pretty big men's jacket size. And I was so excited to find this. Men's Lily stuff is not something you come across very often. So if you do, definitely look it up. They did make some stuff in the last handful of years, but it was mostly shorts and bathing suits. So there's nothing like this or shirts. Um, so this was such a fun find for the Lily lover in me. Um, so between these two, I was ecstatic, even though this was a pretty small haul. And the Rothies, I keep forgetting about those. So a small but mighty haul. And um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.